On 11 Saturdays in the fall, Coastal Carolina will take to the field in battle on the gridiron. But before they get to September, there's a heavy price to pay in August. One days, 29 workouts to get ready for the 2010 season. In a word, training camp is brutal. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Rough. <laughs> Rough. That's the word. Commitment. Because uh, that's the only way you're going to get it done. Difficult, I guess. That would be hard to be that word to describe. Hell, that's the only word I can, I can describe it, man. It's, it's a grind, it's, it's a lot of stuff. The workouts were two days away, but moving day got Akeem Wesley and Trey Henderson a serious workout. Seems like you got a lot of shoes. What's up with that? Nah, you know, I love shoes, man. Like, where I'm from? Well, how I was raised by my grandmother, practically like I had a shoe fetish. So, <laughs> so I mean, that's all I just come with it, shoe fetish, man. I love shoes, love shoes and clothes. My gold football cleats for spring, I say for summer camp. So I hope Coach Ben will let me win, but I don't know if he is because he's been kind of getting on to us about the cleat thing. But by being summer workouts, hopefully he'll let them fly. I mean, I'm not playing the game, but I'm just practicing, you know, and they real light. So try to check them out. Yeah, during the three years now, I guess I try to get everything in here and then try to go from there because standing on the third floor, going up and down, up and down. Might as well just do it one time. The players and coaches are not the only ones putting in long hours in August. Wilson Beaver has been the Shauna Clears equipment manager since the very beginning and is getting ready for the onslaught of players. Each player gets uh, two shirts and two shorts, so a total of 400. The guys just got finished organizing all the shorts. We printed last night and had to wash and dry this morning to make sure that the print uh, held up. For years, Atkins Fieldhouse was a drawing and a concept. The dream for this young football program is now reality. We've got fans underneath to air out their equipment, their cleats and all. Um, they have their own little personal space with their own personal code. Um, which right now I don't know what that is. <laughs> Off the top of my head. You see they have their stuff ready to go for the next day. They can lock up their lockables. They have electrical outlets for their cell phone player, uh, cell phones to be charged, MP3 players to be charged, whatever they want in there. Up top, we've got a spot for their helmet and shoulder pads to air out. There's a fan that goes overnight, so it'll air out. In between practice, two-a-days, it'll help dry the equipment out a lot faster. Tuesday was check-in day, a chance for players and coaches to reunite and get ready for the grind of training camp. Student athlete. I'm a student athlete, Boniface. I'm not an athlete student, I'm a student athlete. <laughs> oh, shoot. Have you ever been paid to compete? No. You agreed to disclose you. What am I signing here? <laughs> huh? If you want to play, you got to sign. <laughs> she said, if I want to play, I got to sign. For many, it was their first chance to get settled in to their new football home. Man, this new locker room is really nice, man. I'm telling you. Well, nicer than Dylan's? Oh, you know it, man. <laughs> but ain't no disrespect to Coach Hayes down back in the building. Hey, how you open it? Oh, there. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This not my help. This ain't me. This is not my help. <laughs> A new face mask or something. Hey man, and get a uh, different face mask. Right yeah, we'll put them on later. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's like coming into a new home. It's a new home, and you gotta protect it. Coastal Carolina football was born in 2003. It didn't take long for the Shauna Clears to make a splash in college football's Division One AA. From 2004 through 2006, CCU won 28 games and put football on the map in Conway, South Carolina. We want Coastal Carolina on that ticker to be all over the country. You understand? And everybody knows who we are. 
Everybody will know who we are. Number one, college football, Coastal Carolina, in just their third year of football against James Madison, the defending champs. Tyler Thigpen to Jerome Simpson. Tremendous one-handed grab. Coastal Carolina goes on to upset James Madison. With a national playoff berth and three straight Big South crowns, it appeared that Coastal was ready to be a fixture among FCS powers. But over the next three years, there were just 16 wins. A program that is only eight years old shouldn't have glory days, but Coastal Carolina does, and the pressure is on every player and coach to get back there. And I believe a lot of this is going to be brought out this summer in camp. That's where we're really going to start, and we have to. It's a must that we do get back on track, a Coastal winning style. For the Shauna Clear's first meeting of training camp, David Bennett decided to take his players back in time to see where the program was and where it has come to. Some of y'all never been in here, have you? I want y'all to come in here and I want y'all to see it, touch it, because a lot of people have to th see things visually for you to grasp it. We got too many guys on this football team that are spoil rotten. Spoil rotten. When we first began, how about we had two and three to a locker? Three to a locker! Can you grasp that? When we started football here, oh, Two, practicing 03, 04, 05, 06, winning those championships. Couldn't take but more than 12 at a time. Couldn't take but 12 at a time. This is where they lifted weights. Right here. Three championships come out of this room. Get you some of that. But you know what they, hey, them guys like Brian Keppel, he'd roll an ankle to puff up that big. You know what uh, Pounds of training would tell him? Oh, you can't play. He said, huh, watch and see. You know, he'd play. With an ankle that big, he couldn't even hardly walk on it. But he would play. That's what that team was. Hungry. This was the locker room before game one. 03. Boy, we thought we had arrived moving in here. We're here to win a championship. That's what we started this program for. To do it every year. And for three years, we ain't done it. We ain't done it. But we got to work hard every day and enjoy the process. You understand? Let's head over to the new locker room. <laughs> We've had football here seven years. Look at this blessed locker room we got. Guys that busted their tail over in that little honky tonk, lifted weights in something smaller than this aisle, busted their tail to help get the money raised for you guys to enjoy this. At once, when they come back, to watch you or spring game or you run into any of them, you ought to shake their hand, give them a hug, and tell them thank you for what you did. And we've got something that we owe back to them. You understand? We've got to pay something back to them. Every single one of you, I thought about this, every, one of, every single one of you, your life is an opportunity. You hear me? Your life is an opportunity. Rise to it. Day one of training camp was a lot of talk and a lot of meetings. Following two hours of talks from compliance, oh, academics, God. and campus police, the players closed the doors and asked the coaches to leave. This is a new year, new beginning, man. And I'm not trying to go that, down the road we went three years in a row. I'm not saying it's this person, that person. I'm just not saying it's the coaches either. I'm saying we all here, we all men, so let's just get it out right now. Put it all out there, man. It's just something that we want to do, you know, coming into camp. It's the first day reporting here, and it's just something that, you know, just to get on the same page with the teammates, you know, set your goals there, you know, let everyone speak their mind, let everyone say what they have to say, and, you know, there's never any fuss, and it's always a great time in there with each other, and, you know, everything's on the line, and it's just something we enjoy doing. One time this camp, one time. I mean, maybe we can get it even more than one time, but we just stay here, you know what I'm saying? in the locker room and just have a sleepover or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a sleepover or something, man. <laughs> the talking is over. It's time to get to work. One, two, three, guys. Have a good night, guys. Camp Bennett is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by HTC, proud sponsors of The David Bennett Show for the past seven years.
What's all this? Sammy challenged Gil to a race. If you want to call it that. Ah. Does Gil know? Know what? Uh-oh. Ah. Sammy's been supercharged. Supercharge your internet with HTC NetRacer with up to 8 megabits per second downloads for only $28.95 per month for the first six months. Okay, Sammy. Let's see what you got. Got. Camp Bennett All Access at CCU Training Camp is brought to you with limited commercial interruption from the Britton Law Firm. A special thanks to Tommy Britton and his partners, Mary Madison Britton Langway, Preston Britton, and Case Britton, for their support of Coastal Carolina football. The Commons on campus is where the Chanticleers gather for meals. 90 minutes before the first test of training camp, players were loading up on breakfast. I got an hour to eat my little Commons McGriddle. So I'm going to eat this, and in about an hour I'm going to be good to go for the running test. Each position coach eats with his players for every meal during camp. I think it's important that the guys get nutrition, you know, and especially with this heat. And it's going to be a vigorous camp, so make sure they get the, get the protein, nutrition in their body. And um, also it's a time for bonding and you know, talking to them and finding out, you know, what's going on in their life too. Every player knows the running test is going to be grueling, but that isn't putting a damper on fun in the locker room. Put it on, Whit. Put it on. Come on. Whit, put it on. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> Whit. Your face mask touches your face. And just remember the big head. Damn. David Durant. Hey. <laughs> 2010 camp. It's 8.15 in the morning. You see that? 8.15. We got uh, Brandon Archer right here. You see he got the steel toes on. They won't. They not going to budge. They not going to budge nowhere. Steel toe crease khakis. I'm something like the clown of the team, you know, but at the same time, I know how to take it serious also. So when it's time to go on the field and take it serious, I can take it serious. But at the same time, I want to have fun because it's all about camaraderie around here. We got to be a team. We got to have friendship. That we got to have a strong bond. And to have that strong bond, you got to have a strong friendship. Show the camera the run. Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Hey, you know we ain't seen it. We ain't seen it run. It's Come on, get your legs up. Let's loosen up. First day back. Go. Brian Gabriel is the Shawna Clear's new strength and conditioning coach. He's put an emphasis on speed in this year's conditioning test. This test is going to test one sprint endurance and mental endurance what we can do in that we're going to find out who's done work over the summer that's what i'm about to find out this test is a half gasser it's 53 yards of there and back the o linemen have to make it in 20 seconds dl 19 combo in 18 skill in 16. you do not make one you miss them all just ol ready go Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stay with the front of the group. Come on, touch and go, touch and go, go, Dexter. I don't want to be first, Dexter. Moon Edwards started Chesterfield High, winning three straight state championships and dominating 1A football in South Carolina. But in his very first college drill. Moon Edwards was learning about a long-standing Bennett expression. This ain't high school. Trainer can't help a cramp too much other than stretching. Oh yeah, I should have stayed here, baby. Should have stayed here. Come on, Moon, don't stop. Don't stop, son. Touch and go. Touch and go. You ain't gonna get in shape. We gonna get you there. Quit man, let's go before you stop. Let's go. Get on the line. Get on the line, move. Get on the line. Come on. Come on. Let's go, big baby. Go, 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 go. Hey, quit. Please don't change that. Yeah. It's just, it's just a different ball game from high school. You know, 
got to work extra harder. High school going to be 10 times easier than what this is, but just can't quit, you know. I did five good, did the last five weren't so good, but I just learned you got to work harder in college. It's a different ball game. You just got to keep going, keep striving. Of the 90 players who ran, 80 passed. For 10 shots, their day will begin 90 minutes earlier at 6 a.m., running until they make a passing grade. You make them all, Jamie? You were close. You missed one? Hey, son, I appreciate your honesty. Those of you out of shape, shame on you! Bleed till on three, bleed till on three. One, two, three, bleed till. Derek Frazier would have liked nothing more than to go through the rigors of running, but the Shauna Clears 2009 starter at inside linebacker will not be playing this season. Frazier was one credit short due to getting a D in his major and got the devastating news that he will not play in 2010. Frazier will redshirt and be allowed to practice when school starts. It starts sitting in about three days ago that I wasn't going to be able to be out here with him, so... It's, it's kind of it's kind of taking a toll on me, but um, I told him I promised him that I was gonna be here, so I will be here. I mean, what's the lesson you're gonna learn from this so you're you know you can move on? Um, uh, when you need help, ask for help, and that's not I'm just not talking about classes, just talking about in life in general. And when you need help, because it's like if you're overwhelmed with something and you really need help, ask for help because asking for help will probably make it easier on you and make it easier on you in the classroom because stress is not too much stress is not good. Some stress is good, but too much of it, it's not really good and didn't help at all. If you hear a kid's academically ineligible, usually you think, oh, that kid didn't study, he's not smart enough. Not Derek Frazier. He's got a 3.0, like I said, but if you make D's in your major here at Coastal, they don't count. So therefore, he made some D's, didn't count, and only passed 17 hours for the year. You got to pass a minimum of 18, so he's not eligible. He's going to use it as a practice year. He'll be a heck of a developmental player on the scout team. I'll promise you that. Rashid Gauls can relate to Frazier's problems. The Conway native missed the 2009 campaign after bad grades. Now the bruising running back is set to regain his eligibility if he can pass his two summer classes next week. It, it takes for something to be taken away from you to know that it means a lot to you and that you, I mean, you broke a lot of people's heart. But my story is that I lost a couple people in my family. I went, I could say, 17, 18 years of my life without losing anybody in my family to losing five and six of them at the same time over a course of three years. And for me to be in that young and having everybody there with me to support me and to see that they're gone, I just I felt sorry for myself. You know, and in life you can't feel sorry for yourself. All you do is, like Coach Jordan used to tell me, fight over, forget it and drive on. And by using that, I mean, I'm bouncing back. I'm paying for it now and I'm working my tail off right now to impress these coaches and let them know that I can be accountable. Pretty little spot right here on campus, isn't it? Hammer said this is the coolest spot on campus. The first casualty of training camp came from the conditioning test. Starting center Pat Williams tweaked his hamstring while he was running, leaving the Shauna Clear scrambling to find someone who could fill in in an emergency role. Always remember this though, you'd rather be low than high. You'd rather be low than high, like a, like a dang shortstop. An infielder catching the ball, he can get it in the dirt. He can't get it when it's over his head. Get a little more bend in you, son. Get your butt down. There you go. Eyes up. You can't look back at him. Ah, boy. Much better, Johnny. Much better, Johnny. I'm about to be the backup center. Backup center. I got you, Pat. Until you get a bat, boy. Your boy Hart got you. The CCU coaching staff was anxious to get to work in practice number one, and the energy level was high. All right, my hands on his toes. All right, I'm trying to get a race to a knee lock with that snapper inside of me. Slash whatever, it don't matter. It's off, new play. Got it? Hands up. When I point at you, do your hands way up. Quick release. All right, take your drop. Period six. Coastal has 12 10 minute periods, and the staff will not waste one second. The Shauna Clears used to do all of their running at the end of practice, but this year, the sprints are broken up into four sections throughout workouts. Just changing it up, doing something different. You know, after every three periods, uh, we'll do a little bit of running. The seam stay right there. Slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it. Yeah, whatever. You look like you'd be doing some line dancing, son. You do line dancing at weddings, don't you? Oh, yeah. I figured you did, son. <laughs> the line dancer. Go, Steve, you ain't got a 25 yet? Ah, Parsons. 
25, Parsons, knock them out. Knock them out. <laughs> the final sprints took their toll. This is what hard work look like when you cramp up. Hard work. Uh, the running's been different this year, um, but I feel like we're in better shape as a team. I feel better personally. Uh, it's just a matter of these first couple of days, kind of getting your legs back a little bit, getting in football shape. But so far, I feel great, and uh, I think we've looked good running. High intensity. Um, we had a lot going for us today. We was ready, was excited to come out here, and uh, we got at it. Hey, I said, I said this to the summer group, and I meant it. The first couple of days are going to be hard running, just to see where we're at, see where we're going. But that's a good job today. I want y'all to know that. I'm proud of y'all for doing the work, putting it in. Lessen the complaints and just let's keep going. Let's keep moving forward, all right? Yes, sir. Let's get it, baby! Let's go, bro. Yeah, yeah. We finished strong today, fellas. Get better, get better. Every day we get better. Get better on three. One, two, three. Get better. Yeah, yeah Rich. Way to bring it up. Five, five, five yards. It's uh, 6 10 coastal football time, 6 uh, 11, 6 06 real time. And Coach Gabe's got them out here finishing the running test, and uh, there isn't any light yet. But uh, we appreciate you, Rich, being here with that light. Might help them see. These are guys that didn't pass the running test or guys that uh, weren't here yesterday with uh, family issues that are having to do the running test or had a class. So uh, hopefully they can finish the running test today. Zach Elliman was the master of running the option offense at Sockesty High School. He's coming to Coastal Carolina to play wide receiver. Elliman thought he'd have no problem with his first college football test. How do you feel about the running test? Oh, uh, this shouldn't be too bad. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Down to the right. Get it up, Was that uh, welcome to college football, Zach Elliman? Yeah, that was. It's uh... a... <laughs> Wasn't the first time, but these guys are a little bit hard. Uh, I retract my statement, my earlier comment about it not being that hard. <laughs> I got it, baby. I got it. Let's go. The last time we saw Moon Edwards, he was having trouble standing up during gassers. But day two of conditioning was going a little bit better. Moon, get up and walk. Get up and walk. Ain't nothing down there, bro, but cramps. Get up and walk. Last night looking at my clock like 20 times, it was still, we, we early hours in the morning, looking at 3.30, 4.45, just ready to come out and finish it, so I don't have to worry about that no more. Yeah, he had a welcome to college football. Hey, hey you got to get on our page, you know? We, we're not going to come down to that level. You're going to have to get on our page, and we want to win football games around here. Conway's Rashid Gauss took care of business and earned himself an extra hour of sleep. That, that's good. <laughs> that's good. As I was sleep, you got to rest during camp, so... I would love that. There's only one thing worse than 6 a.m. conditioning, and that's showing up late for 6 a.m. conditioning. Matt Johnson was the guilty party. Who's your call buddy? You gotta have two or three call buddies. Mighty Matt. I woke up, then he said 6, 12. I was like, shoot, you know, rushed over as fast as I can. Man, I knew it was ahead of me. Johnson had the stage all to himself and hit the wall on his final few gassers but the defensive lineman wouldn't go through hell alone. Man, just think about it, it's gonna feel good when you, when you pass the test, man. Just use that as your motivation. Once you pass the test, you ain't gotta get up at six o'clock no more. Use that as your motivation, baby. Just minutes after passing his test, Gauze was back at it again, looking to help his teammate through. 17, 18, 20. you made that one, man. Good job, man. It's something to say about a person when, when it's hard, when it's a hard time, that they'll help you up, that they'll run with you, they'll pick you up and say, we'll go through it together. I think it says a lot about a person and a team. It's a character issue. And I mean, we got some good men on this team. Simple as that. I mean, that means a lot to me, to be honest with you. I mean, him, Seth, all them other boys. I, mean, I guess it's true, man. We all brothers. Just two days in and the bonds are already forming, but the hard work is just beginning.
the gear is coming on, and two a days loom. Training camp has a long way to go. Camp Bennett is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by HTC, proud sponsors of the David Bennett Show for the past seven years. What's all this? Sammy challenged Gil to a race. If you want to call it that. Ah. Does Gil know? Know what? Uh -oh. Sammy's been supercharged. Supercharge your internet with HTC NetRacer with up to 8 megabits per second downloads for only $28.95 per month for the first six months. Okay, Sammy. Let's see what you got. Got. Camp Bennett, all access at CCU Training Camp, is brought to you with limited commercial interruption from the Britton Law Firm. A special thanks to Tommy Britton and his partners, Mary Madison Britton Langway, Preston Britton, and Case Britton, for their support of Coastal Carolina football. Here's what's coming up next week from Camp Bennett. Hey. Good hands, Jamie. Good hands, Joe Mo. I already like the way they looking better. I mean, the first game in Towson, you know, made a mistake. So, you know, I just got to redeem myself. That whole situation in that Towson game just motivated me more to come back stronger this year. Oh! Oh! Y'all ready for practice? You got to go in, though. Scoop them! Scoop them! Scoop the backside. Get out and run it. I know I got to get way out there, right? Inside foot up. I'm looking to the right. Come out your shoes to get there. A real gun, green cab, 400 rip on one one. Ready? Green cab. Either whiner or you a winner. We want a bunch of winners. I got tears in the side of me, but I ain't gonna let it come out because y'all my boys, man. <laughs> Dominic, that you? You did that right there? Who did that? Morgan Bird. Bird this morning. Mm. Look like you had corn for breakfast right there. Look like my no. man been eating corn. Turn the grass green right there. You gonna step in it? You gonna step in it? <laughs> Dominique, your cheeks is moving. Horrendous. <laughs> no, they're not. They got mm. their bruns in there. They look, they look sweet. They look like ballet shoes, man. Can you dance in them? Let me see you dance in them. <laughs> This has been a presentation of WPDE Sports. For more local sports, log on to carolinalive.com.